Hello and welcome to episode 20 of Persona 4. 20 whole episodes. Yeah. Yeah. How close are we to finishing? Not. Not. <laughs> uh, it's Thursday. Yep. Janitor time. Janitor time. Hey, Ian, who are you? Uh, I'm Ian. And I'm Bill. No, you're not. What? You're an imposter. I'm an imposter. Summoned from the nether realm. I wasn't really going anywhere with that joke. I just... <laughs> yeah. Oops. I'm impo imposter Bill from the nether realm. They can't all be good ones. Welcome to my show. We cleaned the vacated hospital room. Again, we're startled. Pretend not to notice, so our courage increases. Hmm, what do you want to do today? The fact that she says that as her generic thing is kind of creepy. Yes. Feel that your relationship is going to become closer soon. Cool. Sweet. Even when we answer wrong on her, it doesn't take us that long to get back on track. Yeah, I guess they they throw us a bone since you can't see her that much. Mm -hmm. Classes have ended for today. You're waiting for Risa to recover. What are we currently doing? We need to go get a request, right? Yeah, we do need a new request. Okay. You're currently Persona-ing. Yep. Uh, I mean... I guess we could play, like, where we spread out the days we go into the palace, but the reality is there are going to be days of dungeon crawl- or, like, there are going to be, like, three dungeon crawl episodes in a row, and then three persona ing episodes in a row. Yeah, That's just gonna continue. I'm excited, though, because we're finally starting to get somewhere on our social links. Yeah. We've been focusing a bit more, and it's the shrine. We'll accept the Emma's request. We get to have riveting conversations with the fox. We do, yes. He has a lot to say. He's a hermit, after all. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Fox brought us an Ama with a rich wish written on it. It's in stern, manly handwriting. I have nothing to live for. I want to recapture the joy of life. It seems the fox wants you to fulfill the wish written on the Ama on its behalf. Did we think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could grow stronger. Together. Yeah. Accepted quest 30, I wish my life had meaning again. Damn, that one's kind of heavy. The fox seems happy. Also super vague. Yep. That might be the vaguest one yet. Maybe it's, the, maybe it's someone at the riverbed. I imagine it's probably... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, no, he is in the north part of the shopping district. Ah, okay, let's go there. I was going to say, if you, if you want to do it right now, I looked it up. Cool. You're telling me I left that zone for no reason? Oh, this one's a pain in the ass. Oh, boy. Is it a pain in the ass in, the, in a fundamentally different way from how the last two were a pain in the ass? Yes. Oh boy. Because this one actually eats up our time. Oh. oh he's probably not here because it's raining. It's raining. Man, Oops. the rain sucks. The rain does suck. Oh, we could just stay in this zone and eat a beef bowl. We could. Um. Sure. Can't hang out with Chie today anyway, so what's the point? Right? We should just give up. People? Yeah. Aya! Aya! Yes, we would like to raise several characteristics. Sudden urge to rewatch Jackie Chan Adventures? <laughs> uh, I did not see much of that show as a child. Ah, well, you missed out. I, I probably did. Portal to the Meat Dimension. We tried our best, we grew tremendously. More diligent. I was gonna say that's one problem with uh not hanging out with the sports club anymore. Our diligence oh, is yeah. falling by the wayside. Right. Maybe we'll do that later. Maybe. We can, like when we have a strength persona. Mm -hmm. Welcome home. Thanks, Nanako. Uh oh yeah, we can't hang out with her. No, we're not strong enough. Let's go to the gym. And by that I mean we aren't the most expressive person in the entire world. Right. Or understanding. Uh -huh. Yeah, don't you must express. I feel like we'll probably get brick wall on the hospital. Yeah. Because 
This seems like a, a higher end confidant. Mm -hmm. But you gotta wonder about the death in particular. Like, yeah, we couldn't, or we needed to level up some stats to even get this one at all, and then we had to get this one to rank five before you even get death at rank one. Yeah. So. Oh, Sayoko looks like she's in a bad mood. You hear that commotion? That was the first time anyone ever called me a slutty bitch to my face. Oh dear. <laughs> what happened? You didn't hear? Oh well. She, she wanted the drama, Bill. What the hell? At the previous hospital I worked at, I had a relationship with one of the doctors. But he had a wife. Oh, oh no, God. she is the she devil. She is a slutty bitch. She found out. I was forced to quit. Started working here. Not too long after, it seems he began flirting again. This time with a different nurse at the hospital. Oh, they were perfect for each other. They're both the devil. Yep. I don't know what happened, but I got dragged back into it. His wife came all the way here to bitch at me. Ah. <sighs> the other nurses were just watching with these stupid smirks on their faces. Man. I wish I'd seen it. Like, do we just be bold? Yeah, be All evil. Alright, I wish I'd seen it. Hey, how can you talk like this isn't any of your problem? Hmm. Oh wait, I guess it isn't, really. <laughs> what was I thinking? She smiles wryly. Oh no! <laughs> Maybe there are just no good answers with her. Uh, honestly, sometimes I wonder if that's just what it is. Right? Everything's just a pain. I wasn't like this at first, when I first thought about becoming a nurse. What am I working for? Oh man. What am I living for? Uh. She seems like the type to want some comfort. Maybe. Maybe? What Wait, you... sorry, I need a short aside. Okay. Because I love when Persona impresses me. Alright. Because at first I was like, man, this is like the super skin deep I looked at the card and that's all impression of who the devil should be because mm. she's kind of evil and mean and mischievous yeah but this is so much more like what the devil arcana is supposed to represent mm. because she's got poisonous relationships and she feels trapped and she keeps getting punished for one wrong decision and it's like uh -huh. those are the deeper meanings of the arcana and it's like oh persona is smart persona they actually smart. wrote their characters correctly they did all right, I'm gonna comfort her. Go for it. I don't have enough understanding. Oh man, why does our understanding suck? Uh, all right, let's try to cheer her up. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just grumbling to myself. You're pretty bold for a kid. <laughs> she smiles. Good enough. Yep. I feel you understand Sayoko more than more now. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need more courage. Mm-hmm. Rank 5. The Nurse Social Link has reached level 5. I better go. I'm sure that bitch is gone by now. Goodbye now. Be careful going home. Finished your job and went home. You earned 5,000 yen. As working as Dr. Jan Etor. <laughs> <laughs> The rain doesn't seem to be letting up this morning. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It might be foggy soon. Yep. It might be time to get swept along on plot lines. Yeah. Classes have ended. You're waiting for Risei to recover. All right. Uh. It's rainy again. It's raining. Oh, boy. No one's on the roof. You can go? Go. Aw. Uh. Well, let's talk to the bitch. Are you I? I don't remember. Be I. Okay. What do you want? I'm busy. Ask her out. What? Huh? With you? I is staring at you intently. Whatever. You should skip your afternoon classes sometime. We'll go somewhere far away. Your overabundant courage. You're able to slip out of class with ease. I'll invite you to come with me when... I feel like it. Oh, that might even... <laughs> okay. That might even, like, uh... 
not use up a regular slot since we're cutting out of class. That would be cool. Uh huh. I guess probably beef bowl time. Let's see if Yosuke's around. Yeah. Have we unlocked Kanji yet? I don't know, because I never did, which this also happened to me in Persona 5. There were, like, some people that I just never figured out how to hang out with them. Yeah. Uh, and so I just never got their confidence anywhere. Maybe I need to go to the textile shop. Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe he goes straight home to be with his mom. Maybe. Let's check it out. And we'll be in the North District anyway, so we can see if our next manly person is there. Probably not. But... Probably not. Yeah, we could go fishing since it's raining. Good. But what if we didn't do that? <laughs> How much money do we have? A Shit lot. tons. Cool. By a lot, I mean like a thousand dollars. But hey, that's a lot of money for a high school kid to have in his pocket. That's serious. Say, it's more than I got in my bank account, homie. Bicycle shop. No, yeah, it was on the right side. It was a little further back. Oh, uh, okay in here not to me the textile shop there's no reason for you to be here right now okay I, uh, want me to look up how to hang out with kanji sure that'd be good okay those like daigaku chinese dinner aya let us have a beef bowl We gotta open up our portal to the meat dimension. Our understanding has increased. Our courage has increased. Our diligence has increased. Oh, okay. So, on the the school building second floor. Oh. We, oh. We got something. Oops. I clicked through it. You clicked through it. He was born and raised in Inaba. Okay. Um. Oh, but what we have to do is there's a girl who complains that there's a scary student threatening people, uh -huh. and then we can go find him and basically pull him off the other students, and then we can start hanging out with him. Okay. <laughs> the week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. Oh no! Seems the fog will set in tonight. Oh no, I was just getting into the swing of Persona-ing. Yep. Uh, nothing to do here? Okay. We could go finish our manly book. We could. Or, uh, maybe that's what... Oh, no, oh never this. mind. Damn! Midnight. Fog is set in. No one is appearing on the Midnight Channel. Since Risei has been rescued, it seems the killer was thwarted this time. We're so good at keeping people alive. Right? Fog is covering the town. Only like two people have died. Right. Oh, okay. That felt abrupt. Mm -hmm. Oh. Part where the video gets demonetized. Oh yeah, we may or we maybe are not perfect at our job. Uh, was that? Could be anyone. We hear sirens in the distance. Who do you know wears a pinstripe suit? Something happened. Cell phone is ringing. From Chie. Yeah, hung up. Who decided we're all meeting? We are the leaders here. You're sure that you rescued Risei? It'd be best if you hurried to Juness. Alright, game. I know you're railroading me. It's cool. <laughs> like Yukiko's outfit? Right. Yeah, he does have a nice outfit on. 
went over to check out the scene. He should be back soon. Well, I'm not sure if you could call those shorts. No. <laughs> yeah, it was murder, all right. Her body was hanging upside down on an apartment's rooftop railing. But how could that? That's not all. The victim this time. It was King Moron. Oh shit. King Moron? You mean that King Moron? Senpai's homeroom teacher? What? Why? What on earth's going on here? How am I supposed to know? But I talked to a guy there who saw it. It's true. There's no mistake. You gotta be shitting me. Ain't the killer targeting people who get shown on TV? What we thought. I've never seen King Moron on the Midnight Channel or any other programs. Why? Why did this happen? I thought we finally figured some things out. Were they all just a big coincidence? Maybe the Midnight Channel doesn't have anything to do with this. Maybe other murders happen? Came so far and now we're back to <laughs> I don't know, usually not like that. Yeah, fair enough. Trying to catch a culprit that even the police couldn't find? Uh, it's too early to give up. Damn straight. We started this thing because the police can't tell their asses from their elbows. We give up now, and that shithead's gonna be on the loose forever. This ain't the time for bitching and moaning. We just gotta keep on keeping on. Kanji Kun. Big talk from someone like you, Kanji. What does that mean? Yeah, right? What what's that supposed to mean? Uh, I know. We're dealing with a murderer here, but we've all risked our lives to get this far. No way we'll back down. After we defeated the giant teddy monster, it's like, okay. Yeah. Hey, that's right. Maybe Teddy knows something about this. Well, since moping around won't do us any good, let's go see him. My theory that Teddy is secretly the bad guy kind of vanished with Shadow Teddy. Uh, yes. <laughs> huh? There's staff here? Now that's unusual. Hi there. Did something happen? Ah, Yosuke-kun. Great timing. Did the manager tell you anything about this? There's been this weird mascot around <laughs> our department for quite a while now. Is there some kind of campaign on today? Oh man, are you ready for one of the weirder twists? He said his name was, uh, what was it? Terry? Eddie? Well, there are no customers around, so I guess it's fine. I better get back to my station. Please don't tell me. <laughs> 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 this really hits the spot. Hey, he's all poofed up again. He is all poofed. What the? I mean, how'd you? It took you guys long enough. I've been waiting. <laughs> Teddy, are you okay on this side? How did you even leave your side? Of course I can come out. There's an exit. It just never occurred to me to do it before. But spending time with you all sparked my curiosity about this world. First thing he discovers is massage chairs. Yeah. No. But my feet started moving before I could decide. And when I thought about it, I had nowhere to go. And it was a waste to go back, so I waited here for you. Oh, someone asked for my name, so I told them I'm Teddy. Okay. So that's why. Man, Teddy is like actually a real name though. In the Japanese, he's just Kuma. <laughs> bear. So that'd be even weirder. Did anyone enter the other world? I stayed until the fog settled in on my side, but no one came. You're positive. You really didn't sense a single person. I just said that I didn't. I was there all by myself, like always. <laughs> and your nose wasn't clogged or anything? And 100% alone. That's why I came over here. 
But I can understand if you don't believe me. My senses aren't that good lately anyways. I believe you. Oh, sensei's heart is radiating pure kindness. It You're does so that. Nice. You're so nice, Bill. Well, I am. The Midnight Channel with Lank last night. And even before that, Teddy says he didn't sense anything, right? Does that mean King Morin was never on that side? going on hey hey I want to go somewhere huh now ain't the time dude you seriously don't plan on going back do you where do you want to go anyway I want to give this to Risei chan it's for her you received glasses from Teddy her glasses are very girly probably back us up from now on so I'm gonna fight a Side you with everything I got. Don't think of me as the same cute little teddy. I'm an all new model. I have a powerful attack, an unbeatable defense, and a winning smile. He does have a winning smile. <laughs> Today begins you don't even know. Legend of Teddy. Wow, a new legend. <laughs> Teddy has joined the group as a frontline fighter. He'll definitely be a strong asset in your battle against the shadows. Ah, we're rank Fool. five fools. Yeah, we are such fools. Yep. <laughs> People are starting to stare. Keep it down, will you, Ted? Come on, let's go somewhere else. Just to make sure, I'm going to ask you one last time. Nobody was over there except for you until the fog came back, correct? That's what I've been saying. He didn't show up on the Midnight Channel either. What's up with that? Wait, weren't we in our casual clothes? But yeah. We can be sure now but now we're back in our school uniforms? TV. Uh, well, I know Chie was wearing the sailor uniform. <laughs> Well, like I thought, like didn't I comment on how she was, how Chie and Yukiko were wearing like their oh, casual stuff? Oh shit, you're right. Yeah, and they changed back to their school models. That's weird. Uh, they couldn't throw them in. They couldn't? Well, they've done it a bunch of times already, but I guess everyone screws up sometimes. <laughs> Maybe the culprit thought he couldn't kill any more people by throwing them into TVs. I mean, we prevented his last three attempts in a row. Ah, I get you. That could be it. Could be. So they snuffed someone on our side this time to make sure it worked. Damn it. If that's true, then we have no way of preventing more murders unless we catch the killer. We need more clues. I wonder if Risa chimes up and around yet. Yeah, we'll have to put our hopes on her. <sighs> it's so hot out. That face. I'm taking this off. Wait, you're not talking about your head, are you? <laughs> Cut it out! It's, it's kids watching! Jeez, they'll be scarred for life if they see an empty mascot walking around. A little consideration, man. That is nightmare material. I'm glad you're back to normal, Bill. Your fur's all fuzzy again. Can I feel it? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> Kaji's uh -huh. so weird. He likes fabric. He does. I'm no longer a hollow bear. <laughs> I trained and trained, hoping to someday <laughs> score with Chie Chan and Yuki Chan. <laughs> now I finally have an inside. Yeah, good. <laughs> Come on. Can't we give it a rest with the whole scoring thing? You could go will never live down scoring a hot stud. No. Hollow. Taking your head off isn't gonna Oh, he hasn't been listening, right? But I just told you I'm not hollow anymore. Uh in his defense, that doesn't make any sense at all. But
What? <laughs> I told you you didn't even know. Much better. What the fuck? <laughs> spot <laughs> he thought about it and trained real hard he did because he wants to score with the ladies he looks like he's on the right track <laughs> yeah hey Chia chan yuki chan <laughs> i love teddy <laughs> do you have any <laughs> wear i'm basically like a newborn at the moment <laughs> teddy is that really you oh man <laughs> Wait, did you say you're like a Look, every time his head turns, you get the sparkles. Uh, yep. Part off. Uh, you need some clothes, right? Come on, let's I mean, we're at a freaking Walmart, so. Yeah. That's Teddy. Uh oh, Kanji's all about it. Hollow. Kanji's not the only blonde anymore. Like, he grew himself a body in there. Don't hurt yourself. The creature would do that. I mean, what is he? <sighs> and again, this is hardly the first bizarre thing we've seen. He's right. Yeah. Admit, it's probably better than him walking around in his bear suit. Oh, hey, weren't we going to see about talking to Rise? I was so shocked that I lost track of what we were talking about. Let's head over to Rise's place. As for Teddy, he's with the girls, so he should be fine. I don't know about that. <laughs> the girls might not be. He was very sparkly. Right? You went home to change before heading to the shopping district. We gotta put our casual clothes on. Clothes back on. After they vanished. Yep. Yep. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. It's finally the season for topsicles again. Dude, how many are you going to eat? You're gonna get a stomach ache. Yep, they're back in what they were wearing before. Very strange. Take you that long to find clothes for Ted. Whoa, I is that you, Teddy? Who oh, we, oui, Monsieur? <laughs> How dare you? Say magnifique. Say magnifique. Uh, don't encourage him. <laughs> This guy had to make it a huge ordeal. Everything was new to him, so it turned into a big mess. He was so excited in the women's section that he started blabbering. Hey, you can't just go around doing whatever you please when you're in this form, got it? Well, he can't help it. It's his first time in our world. Oh, she'll take pity on him. Right. <sighs> all right. You don't need to get all mopey like that. I never said I won't forgive you. I'm so glad. I was worried that you didn't like me anymore. <laughs> I like how his overall color scheme is like the same. Yo. Got the bright blue eyes and the white shirt with the rose. Or like carnation. Huh? What are you asking me for? Wow. Come on, Kaji. Well, I was just wondering if he was your type. Oh. I get it. What you're really asking is. <laughs> beat the shit out of me, Kanji. He kind of did ask that. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> you can't crack jokes around you, Theo. He's gonna go <laughs> off. Sorry. <laughs> oh no, you cut off her line. We don't know how long the laugh is gonna go. Helpless when she gets this way. Oh please, everyone, don't fight over me, baby. Shut up. You picking a fight with me? <laughs> Jeez. Oh well. Yosuke handed a thousand yen bill to Kanji. Here, Kanji. Get whatever ice cream you want. Just share it with Teddy. We're gonna head for the tofu shop. Wait here until we get back. Wow, you're rich. No, I'm rich. <laughs> take this from you. Think of it as a welcome back party for Teddy. Just 
Don't go around making a racket. Whoa, Yosuke, what's gotten into you? You're acting like a real sentai all of a sudden. Oh, I get it. You might say differently, but you're still nice to Teddy. He's sweet on Teddy. Yep. Yosuke's developing into such a mature adult. Someone who doesn't let trifles bother him. What? You're worrying me, Chie. <laughs> Teddy's clothes, that's all. Oh. <gasps> for them, so we charge the rest to you. Oh boy. Charge? What? You put it on my account? Oh, what the hell, Chia? I never said you could do that. What else were we supposed to do? The stuff was expensive. Not buy the expensive clothes, <laughs> right? Chie. Put him in sweatpants and a t-shirt. Wow. Come on, baby. Stop fighting over it. Oh man, Teddy wants to get killed. This is your fault, you know. You listen here, Ted. You better take really, really, really good care of that. If you put even a single tear in it, I'll make your next set of clothes out of the bear hide you took off. Oh, we are all fighting. <coughs> Don't let it get you down. Let's go get some top sickers. <coughs> Kanji is easily persuaded. Yep. Let's go on ahead. I think we're going to be a while. Yay, alone time with Yukiko. Yay, and Risa. Yeah. Ooh. That's my kind of time. Yep. Oh, who that? The detective boy. I had a feeling wearing a hat. Come. You're. Are you here to ingratiate yourself with Rise Kujikawa now? That's a weird question. Yeah. Why did the clerk even let them charge it to someone else? Right? That's a good fucking question. Wait. You're that guy we saw with Kanji. Precisely. I don't believe we've met since then. In fact, I don't believe I've ever introduced myself. And he is definitely voiced by a woman. My name mm -hmm. is Naoto Shiragane. I'm investigating the multiple murders that have occurred here. Mind if I ask you a few questions on the subject? The latest victim, Kinshiro Muraoka. He was a teacher at the school you all attend, correct? Yes, sir. So what? Not how you answer the questions, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that he is associated with the second victim's school, but in truth, that's irrelevant. What intrigues me is the inconsistency. This Moraoka has never appeared on television. Uh oh, hotshot detective. Yep. What do you make of that? How are we supposed to know? Well, we'll leave it at that. Oh no, we disappointed Naoto. For my part, I'd like to solve this case as quickly as possible. I'll be keeping an eye on you all. Well then, until we meet again. Peace. Later, Naoto. Who is that guy? It's a hat wearing boy, Yusuke. He's all through us. Yusuke. Damn it. Even knew about the TV thing. I hope Naoto is a social link, so after we finish GA, we can immediately start oh, Naoto. <laughs> oh, what are you wearing there, Rise? Chan, are you okay now? Uh, Caprice. <laughs> good, good. Are you all here to check up on me? Well, yeah. Oh, um, do you guys have a moment? There's something I want to tell you. Follow me. My grandma's taking care of the shop today. Huh? Sure, okay. <clears throat> Atsuhime Shrine. Oh, hey, we know all about the shrine. We do, yeah. We are. We do good work here. We do. Yeah, I remember being at my house. When I came to, though, I was already in the other world. Still no real information on the killer. We met this weird kid named Naoto a second ago. 
Oh, he's come to the shop several times. He asked me a lot about the incident. I didn't tell him anything about the other world, though. I figured it'd be a waste of time. Actually, he asked me about you guys, too, but I just made up some stuff. Like, they found me unconscious on the roof at Jeunesse. Well, I guess that's close enough to the truth. Kind of close-ish. Mm -hmm. Sort of. Hey, is that a Shisa? So... Well, she's covering it up. Hmm? Oh, oh, the statue? Yeah. Looks like it. Um, I really appreciate what you did for me. Thank you so much! I love you guys! Aww. Aww. Huh? Aww, you didn't have to thank us. Thank us more. Dude, he's so cute! Oh, excuse me, I have a heart attack? Uh... <laughs> Well, I know I sounded gloomy and all from stress, so I, I thought you might not like me that way. Do I sound weird? Oh, but I guess it sounds more natural this way to the public. I'm sorry. I've practically lost touch with what the normal me is like. <laughs> no need to apologize. Just do you have what to you pursue sense. your true self, Risa. Exactly. I think everyone has multiple sides to them. You don't have to force yourself to decide on just Man, that's incredibly insightful given literally everything we've done in this game so far. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Uh, really? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you're the first people I got to know here. Oh yeah, we almost forgot your present. The teddy glasses. Um you, you don't have to take them, but well, you recommend um, it. <laughs> yeah. Eddie gave you a pair of glasses to hold on to for when Lisa joined you. But what should you say when giving them to her? Senpai, would you be struggling without my help? Uh... I can help you in that world, right? With my power. So wouldn't it be better if I joined the team? Yes. <laughs> Handed the glasses to Risei. These are kind of like proof that you're one of us. Explain the effects of the glasses to Rise. I see. I do remember you all wearing glasses over there. Thanks, Senpai. Now I'm part of the team too. Yep. So I had a, a moment when Rise joins the group, and I realized why you have code names in Persona 5. Uh-huh. And it's so that the like analysis character has something to call you. Ah. So both Morgana and Futaba call you Joker. The whole time. Looking cool, Joker. Yeah, and it like it wasn't until Risei joined that I'm like, oh man, Teddy's been calling a sensei the whole game. Yeah. And now Risei can talk about senpai. <laughs> and it's like, they don't have to keep making the characters kind of awkwardly placed or talk strangely that way. If, sure. If there's a generic word for our leader. Makes sense. Risei Kujikawa joined the group. She'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. Not entirely certain why you name yourself in Persona. That is weird. They could just name us you, Narukami, and... Oh, we ranked up again. In one day. Are we gonna get four more friends? Uh... Probably not. No, I don't <laughs> think so. I'll be going to Yasugami High starting tomorrow. Nice. But I don't have any friends yet, so don't ignore me, alright? I could never ignore you, Risa. See, I was gonna say, I bet she'd have an awful lot of trouble making friends if she wanted to. Former idol? Yeah. Leave it to me. Your courage has increased. Oh yeah, we're so baller. Wow. I didn't realize you were so cool, Senpai. Oh yes. Oh yes. This sure is a rough time to transfer here though. The kidnappings, King Moron's death. Uh oh. Zans are soon. Oh, we should teach Risa how to study. Yep. Now I'm depressing myself. I wonder if there's any chance they'll be cancelled. No. No. <laughs> I was gonna say, there are three realities in life. Death, taxes, and exams. <laughs> I almost got killed by those monsters. Compared to that, exams are nothing. Damn yeah, right. Perspective. Alrighty. Yeah. Let's discuss the case some more tomorrow at our special headquarters. Headquarters? Yo, how's it going? Dude, Teddy ate five topsicles. Though if you count the ones I had before, <laughs> six. So I still win. Sure you do, Kanji. <laughs> We're all done talking already. Let's go, 
Oh man, she's attached to us. Oh yes. Oh. Uh, <laughs> when did you get so chipper? Do you go to Yasugami like Senpai? I'll be starting school there tomorrow, so I hope we get along too. Huh? Oh. Cool. I feel like uh, Kanji with you know the lover's persona is like the most unlikely. Right. Dark. So where's Teddy? He's over there finishing up his fifth popsicle. What are we gonna do with him? We should enroll him at school. I'm sure he would be fine. Yep, he's educated, right? Uh, Probably knows how to read. I assume he can do at least basic calculus already. <laughs> Good evening. This is Nightline News. Our top story for the night concerns the latest developments in an ongoing story. Oh man, there was a murder and we didn't even show up this at the crime scene? <laughs> has claimed a third victim. Maybe Dojima won't blame us anymore? <laughs> King Moron's picture is on the news. It seems he really was murdered. What's wrong? Was it someone you know? He died? Monaco seems scared. They'll catch him. Calm Nanako down. Your understanding has increased. I'm alright. Nanako seems somewhat relieved. This marks the second consecutive death after Miss Saki Konishi's, where the target was involved with Yasogami High. Mr. Morooka was known for his strict teaching methods and is said to have had constant friction with his students. Like calling them assholes and <laughs> yeah. whatnot? Yeah. Turn to our reporter at the scene for more details. News is livelier than usual. Dad won't be coming home again today. Maybe you should try another magic trick. Move a finger on your right hand. And see. <laughs> <laughs> to your left hand. Why is this our go-to? This time you move a finger on the left hand. <laughs> to your right hand. <laughs> I love Persona. <laughs> Persona's wild. Hey, how did you do that? Tell me, tell me. Hanako seems to have cheered <laughs> up. Oh, man. I hope... I wish we could go to the bookstore and buy a book of magic tricks right? just so we always have them in the bank. You put Nanako to bed and decided to call it a night as well. Dude, he just picks up, pulls up his hands, and I'm like, no way. No fucking way. <laughs> but there was a way. This place. Welcome. It's been quite some time. Has been. Mm -hmm. It seems that you've been called to the Velvet Room. Do not be alarmed. To sleep in the real world. Thanks, Igor. I have summoned you within your dreams. How are things proceeding? Great. Are you gradually drawing nearer to a solution to the mystery? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, yes. Excellent. The season has changed, but your future is not yet closed. In time, a path will open to you. Our true reason for calling you here tonight is to provide Ooh. a new form of assistance. What do you think it's going to be? To achieve just that. Some sort of leveling up or... Personas. Like, maybe, maybe the thing where they lock up a persona and it levels up? Hmm. The aid we will henceforth oh, provide never mind. Is nope. Advanced form of uh, this is not Persona 5. <laughs> speak of the oh, okay. <laughs> Is a quad spread. Or more. 
so oh, yeah. that this will enable you to command even stronger power. Uh, I know that there's a really high level, at least one really high level persona that you need to do a dodeca spread. That's uh, that's twelve for the viewers at home. Our viewers know geometry. Maybe. Challenges, which I cannot foresee at present, await you. Most interesting. <laughs> well, until we meet again, farewell. Thanks, Igor. Every once in a while, I like forget how creepy Igor's portrait is. He's got like those dark rings around his eyes. Uh huh. They're like somehow bugging out and sunken at the same time. Right, and his banana nose. Yeah. Oh, who dat? Yo. Oh no. That's one. Yosuke. He's our friend. I knew you've forgotten about him since you humiliated him in class and I don't do his social link. But... I still can't believe it. Our homeroom teacher was killed. I couldn't get that much sleep yesterday. How about you? Are you alright? I'm okay. Well, if we start getting depressed over something like this, we'll never catch the killer, huh? Ah. Uh, oh yeah, this means we'll be getting a new homeroom teacher. I wonder who it'll be. Well, I'm pretty sure they won't be able to find anyone worse than King Moron. Uh-oh. That's a flag. <laughs> King, your, King Moron's older, nastier brother. Oh boy. King Asshole. <laughs> that might be harder to fit into a Japanese name. Yeah. The classroom is bustling. Hey, is that stuff about King Moron for real? It was on TV, right? It must be true. Good. Oh. I'm Noriko Kashiwagi, your new class teacher starting today. What is that pose? Delicious. She's a slut. <laughs> oh, wow. Bill, how very oh, anti progressive of you. Ready, but now that Mr. Motooka has passed away, I'll be taking good care of you instead. Miss Kashiwagi, huh? Okay. Mm, not for long. Stop for the moment of silence for Mr. Motooka. Close your eyes, everyone. I know what social link we have to pursue next. He's not a social link. Why not? He's in P5. I'll do my best to fill Mr. Motooka's shoes. I mean, I'll try, but... <laughs> exams are still on track for next week. Next week? As your principal said, it's times like these when the schedule is most important, <laughs> Nori-chan. Principal calls her Nori-chan, huh? It must be tough for you, but that's what it means to become an adult little Yikes. She's fixating pretty hard. Uh huh. First King Moron and now Kashiwagi. How much worse? Why would a boy be upset? <laughs> oh, and one more thing. That idol in our first year class, Ms. Kujikawa, was it? Uh oh. In person, <laughs> she's nothing like she seems on TV. So don't get your hopes up, okay? Our teacher actually nasty. Sounds like it. About an idol anyway, right, class? It's just a piece of inexperienced jailbait. Oh, oh, why? Miss Kashiwagi is ranting on and on. What's up with her? Does she think she's Rosette's rival? Not even close. She doesn't stand a chance against Rosette. I mean, I heard Kashiwagi is on the wrong side of forty. It looks pretty good for forty. Uh, I can yeah. hear your classmates gossiping. I bet King Moron would have been ecstatic to hear Rosette had enrolled here. I don't think that's true. Someone <laughs> told me they saw him buying Risei's pinup book. Never mind. That sounds kind of pervy. He annoyed the hell out of me, but I feel bad that he got killed. Oh, you know what? Rosette was on a strip tease show. Huh? A strip tease? Dude, if that was true, the paparazzi would have been all over it. I'm serious. But the reception went bad right when it was getting to the good part. It was on that midnight channel everyone keeps talking about. Stopped her from bearing it all? Uh -huh. believe that crap? How friggin' dense are you? Trust me, you were dreaming. Just saying, a part of herself wants to bury it all. Right? We better wrap this case up quick. Anyways, let's meet up later. Don't make any plans for this afternoon. I looked it up. Unfortunately, Kashiwagi is not a social link. Unfortunately? Yeah! She's a bitch. She could have been the second devil. <laughs> the devil's devil? Uh, finals are next week. It's been a while since I 
I failed any. I think she would fit as like the temperance. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse you. Well, you mean all the time. Oh. Shut up! Like you've ever seen my scores. Aren't they the dummies? Yeah. But she always has above average marks in the subjects that she doesn't fail. Hey, <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> my scores just vary. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Jeez. Take me a while to make any friends at my new school. Too bad we met under such awful circumstances. Oh yeah. What do you guys think about King Moron's case? He didn't show up on the Midnight Channel even once. If this person had been inside the TV, I would have sensed it. Man, Teddy looks ridiculous. He's <laughs> just jealous. Uh, probably. Maybe not of that hair. You just wish you could pull off the shirt, mm -hmm. or that your eyes were sky blue and half your face. Not about, not sure about the half my face part. Wonder about the culprit's motives. Why was Mr. Muraoka targeted? Hope it wasn't personal, because there's way too many people who hated King Moron's guts. But didn't you say it's people who get famous on TV who are targeted? If the killer's choosing targets by watching TV. I picture him as someone who doesn't know the victims at all. I don't think it's worth trying to figure out motives for that type. There are too many people who hold grudges against you for no reason, even if you've never met them before. Ha, ha. you sound like you speak from experience, Risa Chan. But with King Moron, he didn't appear on the Midnight Channel or the regular TV. Ah, uh, I don't get this at all. Two victims in a row from our school. That's got to set off the police's alarm bells. We're not going to leave any stones at school unturned. You know, to be honest, somewhere deep inside, I thought maybe King Moron was the killer. Ah, uh, he's too stupid. Mm -hmm. He says that he was the second victim from Yasugami High. But we all know that's not the case. And I've heard him say more than once that so-and-so deserves to die. But now... I feel bad that I doubted him. He was a capital A asshole, <laughs> but that doesn't justify killing him. And not just King Moron. I feel sorry for all the victims. I can't forgive the killer, no matter what. Well, we'll do what we can, for King Moron's sake too. At this rate, you have to figure that the killer has something to do with the school, right? So why don't we split up and... That won't be necessary. Oh. Hat wearing boy. Yo. There is no need to examine the case of Mr. Moraoka any further. Why is that? Apparently, the police have found a suspect. It would be best to let them handle the case from here. And Naruto's features are tiny. Mm hmm. Delicate. I'm on this case as a special investigator, by request of the prefectural police. Oh, it's spelled different than when what? drunk Dojima said prefecture. What a surprise. <laughs> they found a suspect? Who is it? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you. As to his name, I haven't been informed. I do know that he is a high schooler. It isn't public knowledge. It's Kanji. But he isn't a student of your high school. Never mind. It seems they are quite confident that this boy is the killer. Oh yeah, it's the Japanese police. They pick someone and that's who did it. They go away forever. Yeah. It's only a matter of time before he is apprehended. Soon this case will be solved and your town will once again be its peaceful, rustic self. The suspect is a high schooler? Alright, so why come tell us? That's confidential info, right? Why run right here and spill it? Your game will soon reach its end. Oh. I felt I should at least let you know that. Oh dear. Uh, not a game to us. You don't deny then that you have involved yourselves in the matter? Shit, you gave up the ghost, Bill. I have no reason to say anything further. You talked to someone who's smarter than you and said too much. Aren't you the one who thinks of this as a game? Right. 
you're a special investigator or an amateur sleuth. All you're doing is solving mysteries. What could you possibly know about us? You're the one who's playing a game here. Oh, Risa, Damn man. right. One of the victims? She meant a lot to me. How could I possibly treat this like a game? Plus, we made a promise. Y Yosuke. A game. That may be quite true. Why so understanding all of a sudden? Oh, I get it. I was wondering why you'd be wandering around like this when the police have a suspect. What, did they get rid of you now that they have their man? Is that why you came here? You were lonely? Oh, we're being not very nice. Yeah, I was gonna say, Yosuke's a dick. aren't involved with arrests. And we never harbor any special emotions regarding a case, either. Oh yeah, I'm sure that's how that actually works out. It is yeah. rather unfortunate that people are only like for Dojima. Uh -huh. Services are required, but then I'm accustomed to it. Hmm. Much about this case was perplexing, but its solution was surprisingly simple. Well then, I'll be going now. Goodbye. What was that about? He just said his piece and left. Hmm. He said they have a suspect, but is this really going to solve everything? Who knows? Ball decided to call it a day. Oh. Finally. Yeah. Yes. That, that got was... railroady. Welcome back. Thanks, We're glad Monica. to be back, Monaco. All right. Is that the episode? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. We thought we were, there would be Persona-ing, but there wasn't. That was an hour of... Plot dialogue. Well, we're we're going places. Yep. Talk to you all next time.